What's going on? What's going on, guys? This is a story coming from Arizona by an 11-year-old boy who, sh I think, uh, shot his grandmother and killed his grandmother, and he turned the gun on himself. I'm going to play the video. But first, at 10, horrific news coming out of Litchfield Park. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office telling us an 11-year-old boy shot and killed his grandmother before turning the gun on himself. ABC 15's Mike Pelton near Litchfield Road and Wigwam Boulevard for us, digging into the possible motive and speaking with stunned neighbors tonight. <sighs> Well, strange and sad. Now, the sheriff's office has not specifically mentioned a motive, but the grandfather who was inside the home told authorities his grandson had been stubborn when they asked him to clean his room and pick up after himself. It's a sad, sad day. From across the street, Walter Venerable says, by all appearances, the 11-year-old boy living with his grandparents all seemed like a happy family. The weekends, we'll see each other. We're waving, hi, how you doing? On Saturday, the boy's grandfather told authorities his grandson was acting stubborn when asked to clean his room. Grandma and grandpa sat on the couch to watch TV, and the grandfather reported his grandson came up behind them, shot and killed his grandma before turning the gun on himself. Grandpa then called for help. You can't even fathom what he's feeling and what their other family members are feeling. Um, it breaks my heart that they have to go through this. Authorities identified the victim as 65-year-old Yvonne Woodard and say there were no prior signs the grandson might turn violent. Life is fleeting at times, and I just kept thinking, was he one of the little trick-or-treaters that knocked on my door? Neighbors now left to wonder why you don't know what's going gone through that kid's mind like i said the family's in our prayers i mean they're really nice you know cordial very neighborly i mean like i said it's a shock in this neighborhood the sheriff's office says the gun belonged to the boy's grandfather it's unclear how he gained access to it although tonight authorities describe the investigation as ongoing we're in litchfield park tonight mike pelton abc 15 arizona Now, I want to say something about this. Uh, you basically can tell the demographics of the people that do it, but that's not really what's important here. The thing is, um, some people, uh, really, they get angry off off of anything. Basically, just they don't like taking orders. Some people, I, I don't know why he would do something like this. Um, I, don't, I really don't know what to say because... I'm at a loss for words to shoot your 65 year old grandmother. Was that, that wasn't, damn. That wasn't really necessary. This story is hard for me to break down, but I want to give a shout out to Joy S for sending me this story. And, uh, you know, all I could say is, um, for those of you out here who are grandparents and all that stuff, or parents at all. You know, always watch your child. Always talk to your child. Ask your child how's he doing in school and all that stuff. Uh, is he okay? If he or she is, how, are, are they okay? I'm gonna say, or is he or she being bullied or anything like that? Being forced to do anything they don't want to do by another student? Because you never know what I mean. What I say, you never know what might be going on. They could be getting picked on, so they're already angry. And here you come when they're here. You go when they come home. You're basically giving them orders and all that stuff. So it feel like they're being bullied twice. And maybe like that's like, you know, you know, we spend like six to eight hours a day in school, and then the rest of the sixteen hours, and so we spend it at home. So it's like for most of the day, every day, it's like they're being bullied, except for Saturday and Sunday, but. You know, this is a very sad story and all that stuff. Although, you know, it's usually some racist things I'm reporting uh, on them doing. Sorry, that was my alarm. Racist thing I report on them doing. This was a uh, very sad and all that stuff. And, um, you know, may their grandmother rest in peace. And the kid, I guess. You guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, share the video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. It's a sad story.